Okay. Let's make your streams a little more crispy. Something that every streamer eventually strives for is having the best quality on their stream. And they get that from a mixture of a good camera, a good microphone, and a good PC setup. Now there's a lot of information swirling around the internet about what the best settings are for Twitch within OBS, but I think this one setting that I've been using for months now, even before I took my break, is really gonna help set your stream quality above the rest. If you've ever watched my streams before over on Twitch, you know that I stream at 936p60 on a dual PC setup encoding at x264 slow. And for the longest time, I was convinced that 6,000 bitrate was the cap for non-partner streamers, so any affiliates or even non-affiliates. Turns out this isn't true. Every streamer has access to 8,000 bitrate regardless if you are a partner or not. Now, before you think, hey, that means I can upgrade to 1080p60, right? That'll be enough bitrate? No. Even at 8,000 bitrate, that's still not enough to push a nice crystal clear stream, even on an X264 slow encoder preset. For 1080p60, you really want about 15,000 to 16,000 bitrate, and the only streaming platform that actually pushed 15,000 bitrate was Mixer, and we saw how well that ended for them. So remember to keep your resolution at 936p60. Remember, we want clarity and quality of stream over the amount of pixels, because if you raise the resolution, but without giving it enough bitrate, you're just gonna get more pixelated images. Now, real quick, before I show you the OBS setting, I just wanted to announce that I'm going to be doing a giveaway. We're closing in on 10,000 subs, and as a token of my appreciation, I wanna give away an Elgato Wave 3 microphone. There's gonna be a Gleam link in the description down below, as well as a pinned comment of mine in the comment section where you can click on that to enter. You must be following me on Twitter so when I do the drawing, I can DM you. If you're not following me on Twitter, I can't DM you to get you the info to send you the microphone. Okay, so in OBS, click your settings box, then go over to the stream tab and then scroll down to this little checkbox that says ignore stream service settings recommendations. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that's enabled. What this is going to do is it's going to allow you to override that 6,000 bandwidth cap and go up to the full 8,000. This is actually a super simple setting, but a lot of people don't know what it does, so they don't ever turn it on. And this is the simple trick to make your stream quality better. Now, there are some things to note before you click off the video that when you do use this setting, there are a couple things that are gonna look a little weird on Twitch's end. First, in your dashboard on Twitch, your network meter at the top of the dashboard is gonna look like it's all over the place. Don't worry, that's normal, at least on my experience. Even though I have 20 upload, 8,000 bitrate is only the equivalent of eight of my 20 upload. It does work fine. I don't get any frame drops or anything like that. That's just Twitch's way of trying to stop you from actually using this extra bandwidth. I think they do that so not as many users will actually use this extra two megabyte upload, but realistically, everybody still has access to it. I've tested it on both my affiliate channel and on non-affiliate channels, and both channels have worked. I'm not partnered yet, but we are getting there. So if you wanna go follow me over on Twitch, feel free to click the link in the description down below. And while you're at it, if you are enjoying the video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and drop a comment down below if you have any questions about this. The second thing to note that when you're streaming at 8,000 bit rate right out of the beginning is that you might get a video playback error in your dashboard. Again, I think this is Twitch just trying to make people not use all the extra bandwidth, but in reality, your stream is actually live. It just takes a second to kick in. I don't know why it does this. Again, this is just in my experience, but if you go and look at my streams and right click on my streams and then click video stats, you can actually see that I am broadcasting at an 8,000 bit rate. And lastly, this one's not as important, but it is something important to note that when you increase your upload as a non-partner, you don't always get transcoding. And if you don't know what transcoding is, it's that little gear on your stream that lets you select what quality you're streaming at. So say for example, you're streaming like me, at 936p60 at an 8,000 bit rate, but I didn't get transcoding today, every viewer has to watch at 936p60, 8,000 bit rate. So for people that don't have as fast of internet, they might not be able to actually watch the stream. That's just something to note if you know that people in your community don't have good internet. For me personally, I don't really worry about it. Most of the people in my community never have any complaints about actually watching my streams, but if I ever do get complaints, I do take that into consideration. All right, and there you have it. That's pretty much the last secret setting in OBS that I know of to make your stream quality better. I am going to be redoing my OBS stream settings because of this bandwidth increase, as well as my keyframe interval I have changed. I wanna talk about that in another video where I'm actually streaming at a keyframe interval of one instead of two, which I'll explain in that video at another time. All right, thanks so much for watching. If you want, feel free to check out any of my other YouTube channels that I just started. I started an FPS channel to cover all of my FPS gameplay. I started a Minecraft channel and I started a Let's Play channel, which will all be linked 
in the description down below. You can also follow me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash pixelperfect. Like I said, don't forget about the giveaway that I am doing. I will be giving away an Elgato Wave 3 microphone, so be sure to follow me over on Twitter. And until the next video, I'll see you then. Peace.